This is my interpretation of someone who is sad but cringing at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all you. No, it's, it's all you. No, get out of here. Stop that. Thank you for that rousing applause. Today I'll be looking at people who are sad and cringe, but are also cringe and sad. I don't want to drag this out. We know what this is. Let's just get into it. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? You psyched? You ready to go? Beat your chest. Ooh, ooh. Everybody before you watch this video, do a line of coke. Okay, I want you psyched. I want you bouncing off the walls. I want you fucking just shaking in your seat. That's what I want. Okay, so line of coke and then watch the video. You got that? All right, let's do this. Influencer mocks Tourette syndrome. I'm not above mocking. I love mocking. Mocking's my favorite thing. Uh, I don't know if that's cringe or if that's comedy, because <laughs> put a smile on my face. My issue with it is not... <laughs> my issue isn't with the mocking. I mean, it is a little bit. My issue is with not the mocking, but with the performance. The performance is Junior Leagues. It's F grade. It's not good. If you're going to embody... A character, if you're going to try and fool people into thinking you have Tourette's, I feel you need to, you know, really go full into it, okay? You can't half-ass this shit, okay? The great actors of our time, the Adam Sandlers, okay? They do the legwork before they get into a role, before they get into a character. And I feel you have failed to do that. You know, and I'm not disappointed in the fact that you are mocking a syndrome. Uh, even though I probably should, that should be my main issue with it. But it's not, and some people would say that's psychotic. I would say it's just my performance eye that I have. But you're not putting your, your full self into it. You're not putting you and that shit green haircut into it. You know what I mean? Which, by the way, did the fake Tourette syndrome make you get that shit haircut as well? But yeah, that's, yeah my main issue is the performance is weak. You wouldn't even win a Razzie. That's how bad it is. You would be shunned. You should be shunned because of the performance, obviously, not because of the, the mocking. But yeah, if you're going to mock something, at least perform well. If you're going to fake having something like cancer or, you know, some other terrible disease or a syndrome, at least do a good job. You know, don't half ass it. Okay, I want to be fooled. I want to go, oh, you actually do have it. I want to be fooled. And I have not been fooled. I've been... The wool has not been pulled over my eyes. The wool is nowhere near my eyes. I can see clearly. And the clear fact is that that's bullshit. And that's... You're not taking me into the role. You're not taking me into your world. You really just... I feel like I'm just sitting here watching someone fake it. And that's not what I want from a performance like this. I want to be entangled. I want to be engrossed by it. And you have failed. So hang your head in shame. Also, the mocking bit, you probably shouldn't do that. That's, I, I think that goes without saying, though. That's just, you know, I don't think that needs to be said. I thought the performance part was the, the thing that really needed to be forced home. But anyway, you suck. All right, let's keep going. An entire subreddit going off the shits because a dog sat down. I hate when dogs do that, even though it's like one of the main things they do. Me and Brian Griffin, good friends. When we're at the clam, he, he'd be, he be sitting. That's like one of his main things. Although he does sit more like a human, which is weird for a dog. But, I mean, he talks. That's probably weirder. You know, what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, usually that's what the dog does. That's what the dog be doing. But, hey, r slash dog free. You know what? If you're part of that subreddit, die. I don't... You know, that's all I've got to say to you. Anatomy of a Fall, dog star Messi gets a seat at the 2024 Oscars. All these smug, self-important people have to slobber all over a dog. Which is ironic, because usually dogs be slobbering over them. So, it's kind of... You know, the irony is palpable at an awards ceremony that's not a dog show but may as well be one now we're losing the battle <laughs> losing the battle you're losing the battle you're not at war you're not a fucking vietnam vet you're not holding the line at the battle of the bulge it's a dog it's a dog a movie star dog at a fucking hollywood event dogs are taking over every facet of society 
Soon they'll have an Oscar for Best Dog in Cinema. You laugh now, but it's coming. So sad. Are you okay? <laughs> this is the cultural people if they were more insane somehow, which I didn't think was possible. It's a dog. It's a well-trained dog. You know what? I bet that I bet Messi the dog is more well-trained than you'll ever be, you sick freak. Okay, you probably fucking need a bib when you eat, you fucking slob. Okay, so leave the dog alone, all right? Just because a dog is better trained and more well-behaved than you, you slob, all right? Doesn't mean you get to fucking go, oh, the dogs, they're taking over. You know what? Fuck you. Shut up. Okay, get a life. Get a hobby. Instead of complaining about fucking inane shit, you weirdo. Freaks like you are the reason civilization is going down. Because you complain about the fucking dumbest shit. Who gives a fuck? Relax, all right? Just... Take it down a fucking level. What a horrible day to have eyes. Not safe for work. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. Waking up next to Kimberly this morning. Whoa, hey, hot stuff. Wow, what a figure. I said figure. Okay, don't, don't. Hey darling, how's that juicy pussy of yours doing today? <laughs> well, if you must know, it's quite dry. Oh babe, my juicy pussy is absolutely craving your touch today. This is, this is smart. It's wet and ready for some naughty action. Ugh. So why don't you come over here and let me ride your hard cock until we both explode with pleasure. Is mine? I'm just making sure there's no one else around because I feel I feel dirty. I feel gross. Like he knows that Kimberly's not actually going to ride his hard cock until they both explode with pleasure. Does he not? Or does he? I don't know. I love your fucking big long pussy lips. <laughs> big long? I feel like a real woman would be kind of a little bit offended. <laughs> Yo, get them fucking big long pussy lips out here, will ya? Come on! Hey babe, how are ya? Yeah. Yeah. So what I've been thinking about you all day, I can't wait to see your big long pussy lips out in the open. Hello? Oh babe, I'm glad you enjoy my long pussy lips. Okay, I've had enough. I'll be pussyless for the rest of my life. <laughs> I don't care if you all hate me, this isn't fair. People in the area have never cared enough. Everyone hates me. No one cares to make love to me. Even though I'm in such despair, no one even comes up to me and says, listen, I'll, I'll take one for the team and I will make love to you. No one believes me. I can hear everyone in my ears. It's behind my ears. I've had enough of this. I just want out. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. First you were saying, I'm going to be pussy this for the rest of my life. And now you're having some like psychosis episode where there's something behind your ears. Obviously there's no fucking brain there, but you know, something as you were saying. It's only because people lied, and I'll never be able to make love. This isn't fair. I can't get pussy. <laughs> this isn't fair. I can't get pussy. Yeah, I, it's because the people lied. They said I would be able to get it, but I can't. I, I can't get it. <laughs> On um, that beautiful note, um, I'm going to end it. Um, not my life, just the video. So, hope you enjoyed. Uh... <laughs> Uh, have a good day or whatever, and I'll uh, see you later. Like and subscribe, all right? Make sure you do it, do it, do it. All right, I'll see ya, goodbye. I love Shifty Drongo.